Papa's Mechanical Fish by Candace Fleming. Pictures by Boris Kulikov. And our dedication page. This is my Papa, and this is his backyard workshop where he spends his days thinking, tinkering, and inventing things. Hear that? Clink! Clank and a clank, bang, thump, whirr! That's the sound of Papa at work. Clink, clankety bang, thump, whirr! Sometimes Papa tries inventing helpful things, like collapsible coat hangers that are easy to store. Sometimes he tries inventing unusual things, like edible socks. And sometimes he tries inventing playful things that just, only just, don't work, like steam-powered roller skates. He forgot to put the brakes on. But not once has Papa invented anything that works perfectly. I will someday, Papa tells me. All I need is a fantastic idea. But fantastic ideas are not easy to come by. So Papa twiddles his tools and pulls his hair. He racks his brain, sighs, and states until one day he throws down his screwdriver. Enough thinking, he cries. Who wants to go fishing? I do, I holler. Me too, says my brother, Cyril. Don't forget me, adds our sister Mary. My da-da, squeals the baby, Wilhelmina. Woof, barks our bulldog Rex. I'm so glad I brought along these poles, says Mama. We all troop out to the lighthouse pier and drop our lines into Lake Michigan. Plop, 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 plop. Papa, I say as we wait for a bait, bite, have you ever wondered what it's like to be a fish? A fish, he mutters. A fish? Uh-oh, squeals the baby. Papa's poles clatters to the pier. He leaps to his feet. He whirls around. Farina, you're brilliant, he whoops. Then he is gone, racing back over the sand dunes to his workshop. Clink, clankety-bang, bump, whirr, ta-da, cries Papa a few weeks later. He opens his workshop doors to reveal, what is it, I ask. It's an underwater vessel, he explains, a mechanical fish. I will dive like a salmon, I will glide like a trout. Papa's mechanical fish is so small he barely fits inside. It has a tube sticking out of the top so he can breathe. It has a pole sticking out of the bottom so he can push himself along the lake floor. I call it the whitefish, he says. But will it work? We keep our fingers crossed. Goodbye, Papa, we wave. Farewell, family, he waves back. Then the whitefish is launched. Sploosh. But... Glub, 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 glub. Papa swims back to the pier. It almost worked, he said. Almost, I agree. I think for a minute, then ask. Papa, how do fish move through the water? With their tails, asked Cyril. With their fins, asked Mary. Fishy go, says Baby. Woof, barks Rex. I'm so glad I brought along this tr towel, says Mama. She wraps it around ba Papa's shoulders, but he is too deep in thought to notice. And... Clink, clankety bang, thump, whirr. Behold, white fish too. It is big enough for two people to sit in. It has a wooden fin on top and a wooden propeller in back. Papa pedals it like a bicycle to make it go. Goodbye, Papa, we wave. Farewell, family, he waves back. Then the whitefish, too, is launched. 
Sploosh. It dives below the surface. Swoosh. But. Crack, drip, splinter, rip. Papa bobs to the surface. It almost worked, he hollers to us. Almost, I holler back. I think again, then ask. Papa, how do fish stay dry? With special skin, asks Cyrus. Cyril, with scales, adds Mary. No, pee-pee, squeals the baby. Oof, barks Rex. I'm so glad I brought along this life pr preserver, says Mama. She tosses it to Papa. But he is too deep in thought to notice. And... Clink! Clankety-bang! Thump! Whirr! Behold! The Whitefish 3. It's big enough for three people to sit in. It has a plunger to make it go up and down. It has a steering wheel to make it go left and right. It has levers instead of pebbles. And it is covered in waterproof copper. Goodbye, Papa, we wave. Farewell, family, he waves back. Then the Whitefish 3 is launched. Sploosh, it dives. Swoosh, it chugs beneath the waves. Clackada, clackada, clackada. But, crump, Papa clings to a buoy. It almost worked, he says, minutes later, as we pull him into the rowboat. Almost, I say. I think some more, then I ask. Papa, how do fish know where they're going? Can they see underwater, asks Cyril. Do they have good eyes, adds Mary. Peekaboo, squeals the baby. Oof, barks Rex. I'm so glad I brought along these oars, says Mama. She rose toward shore. But Papa is too deep in thought to notice. Now he barricades himself in his workshop. Clink, clankety bang, thump, whirr. He does not come out. Thunk, clunk, whack. He cannot, we cannot go in. Tap, tap. He even covers the windows so we can't peek. Zap. What's the big secret, I ask. Wait and see, Papa says. Just wait and see. Clink, clankety bang, thump, whirr. At last, he flings wide the workshop doors. Surprise! Ooh, we gasp. Ah! The white fish four is big enough for seven people to sit in it. It has an air cooling system, an air compression system, an air purifying system. It has a steam boiler to run the engine and a battery to run the headlights. It has velvet carpeting and comfortable chairs. Along its length are a dozen portholes. Papa grins. Who wants to go for a ride? I do, I oop. Me too, says Cyril. Don't forget me, adds Mary. Go bye-bye, squeals the baby. Oof, barks Rex. I'm so glad I brought a long lunch, said Mama. One by one, we drop down through the hatch. Then Papa seals it behind us, takes his place at the controls, and sploosh. Swoosh! Clackada, clackada, clackada! Wow! Hours later, we rise to the surface. We glide to the beach. We spread out a blanket and feast on ham sandwiches. Papa, I say between mouthfuls, that idea was absolutely, positively fantastic. Brilliant, says Cyril. Clever adds Mary. Yay, squeals the baby. Oof, barks Rex. I'm so glad you brought me along, says Mama. She gives Papa a big, big smooch. Then a seagull flies overhead. I toss at my bread crust. Have you ever wondered what it's like to be a bird? I ask. 
A bird? Papa mutters. A bird? Uh-oh, squeals the baby. Clink, clankety bang. Thump, whirr. Great history.